Detroit done 313. Welcome back, Stephen. Will, if you see these two handsome faces, you know we're going to be talking. Well, one handsome face, and then Will's like medium, I guess, but I, I'm pretty handsome. Yeah. 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 Just wait till you see him with the mustaches fall. But if you see us, you know we're talking some Detroit Lions. So hit that subscribe button. Will, I think there's a scenario where the Detroit Lions can really, really capitalize. Tell the people about this little situation, this little wrinkle in the NFL. So the NFL has changed the kickoff rule and the Lions have actually signed Devin Hester. So they got to kick the, no, I'm just playing. So, but no, seriously, they changed the kickoff rule, man. There's something that I'm semi excited about. Um, Just, we're going to talk through this thing, but the basics of it is this. They're going to kick from the 35 now, right? Um, The kicking team is going to now be forced to line up at the 40 of the receiving team side, right? The receiving team is going to have a minimum of nine guys at the 35. So they're going to be five yards apart, right? Now, with the option to have two of those guys back up somewhere between the 35 and the 30-yard line, right? And then the last two guys are going to be the returners, and they're going to be in the landing zone between the goal line and the 10-yard line. Is where the last two guys will be. So there'll be reverses. There might be some catch the ball, pass it across the field. I would imagine that we're going to see some cool stuff. But um, with those changes, also, players can't move and start running until the ball is either caught or the ball lands in the landing zone, landing zone being from the 20-yard line to the goal line. So it's supposed to be a rule that was designed to minimize concussions and violent hits, guys running down 20, 30 yards and having these violent collisions. Um, I like that aspect of it. I'm not completely in love with it. And there's some more nuances to it that I'm sure we'll get to. But that's just the basics behind this whole thing. Steve, how do you feel about it? I like the concept of a a new kickoff because. If you've ever been to a game, it's like, all right, oh, hey, so and so scored. Now it's kickoff. Like, now's the time to check your phone, get a tweet out, send a text because you know the kickoff's probably going through the end zone. And it's just a boring, most of the time, dead football play that has zero impact. It's pretty much just like there's a reason you see the offense usually standing at the 25 yard line because they know that that's probably where they're going to be going out onto the field. Mm -hmm. So I like that it's giving us more football, it's giving us more plays, more, uh, chance for excitement. So we were kind of talking today about the different ways that this could be used with different personnel, different um, players. Is this something you have to start drafting for to get ready for? Like there's a lot of different things. I mean, we kind of bored you with the rules. It's not Will's fault. Those are the rules. You just kind of had the, you know, it's not fun to talk about rules, but hopefully if it makes sense to you guys, now we're going to talk a bit about how the Detroit Lions and other teams, we're not the only teams who are going to find, you know, little tricks and loopholes, but I mean, well, maybe we'll be innovative because yeah. we do have Dan Campbell. So um, I think it's a good, I think it's a good rule. And I think you said it's a one year trial thing for, this is like an XFL thing where it's, it's for one year, but um, I like the idea of it just because it's more actual football. Yeah. So just getting into some numbers between, I've seen two different statistics. So I'll give you both between 22 and 23% of the kickoffs last year ended in touchbacks, either getting kicked out the back of the end zone or down to the end zone, right? So they're expecting to move that up to 50% of the kicks will get returned now. There's no fair catching the football now. If it lands in the landing zone, you are required to return the ball, right? It's like an onside kick. It's like an onside kick. So there's just a few things that I I wonder how teams are going to feel about it, man. Um, If you, if the ball's kicked into the end zone and you down it, right? The ball comes out to the twenty yard line, right? If the I, I just I just don't know if I'm the team. If you kick it out of the back of the end zone, the ball comes out to the thirty. Like, is it? Yeah. Is it? A, is it enough to keep me? Still got to go seventy yards. Like, if you put, if I see Tyreek Hill back there, I might say. Fuck it, yeah. Kick this. Yeah, I'm kicking kick it out the back of the end zone. Right? <laughs> I really wish they would have changed the rule if they really wanted to see returns. Kick that thing out to the forty. Yeah, you kick it out the back of the end zone. This thing comes out to the forty. Then yeah. guys got to think like, oh man, 
we're a couple couple first downs away from a field goal with these kickers now, man. Like, well, hey, especially if it's late in the game, it's it's a game changer. That's one thing that I find problematic. Another thing is the onside kicks. So now you can no longer onside kick between the first, second, and third quarter. You're not allowed to do it. Right. So all those those times where the Bill Belichick type guys, come Sean out, Payton in the Super Bowl. Yeah, come out in that, that that first quarter, second quarter, maybe, maybe right after half. You want to come out with a quick onside kick? No, you have to announce that you're making an onside kick. And even on top of that, even though that you're allowed to onside kick in the fourth quarter, you have to announce it. One, two, you have to be trailing. You have to be trailing. I just think that we're taking a part of the game away, man. It's if I'm a special teams coordinator. That's part of my savviness, man. That's part of me being risky. That's part of me and, you know, my coaching style. Maybe I'm the type of guy that likes to on kicks, onside kicks suddenly at certain times. I just don't like the the idea of forcing a guy's hand to do something a certain type of way, man. I don't like I don't like that aspect of it. But I do think that minimizing the violent hits uh, minim- minimizing the distance that these guys are running into each other. I think you're going to see some interesting personnel groupings. Yeah, we were just about to dodge, just about to bring that up. And I think you might see every defensive tackle, offensive guard, offensive tackle, linebackers. I think you all those backup dudes, all those bubble guys. I think you're going to see them on these kickoff teams. I'm and- I'm I'm in the opposite boat. What if, what if what if well what if you just throw out a bunch of skill skill position guys some wide receivers some quarters some guys with some speed and you just run around like it's a playground and you don't know who's going to get the ball now you're making the kicking team be responsible for man to man coverage because you can still throw a reverse you could still throw a pass as long as it's a backwards pass there's a lot of different wrinkles there's so many like you could go the big package like you said and then yeah. the next kickoff you might throw out all of your wide receivers your corners. Uh, maybe a linebacker with some speed. I, I, yeah. I don't. I don't know, man. It, it, there's a there's a thousand different scenarios that that this could play out, and I'm excited to see it because we talked about, you know, maybe you throw Jamison Williams and, and Jameer Gibbs back there, the two fastest guys on the team as returners. But now maybe you throw a Monra St. Brown. Maybe he's just a decoy. I don't want to see him taking any more hits than he already takes. Mm-hmm. Maybe you throw. I mean, you could throw anything back there. It's just a wrinkle. You you never know what's going to happen. I think if you're going to see, I just really would have, I won't even hammer on what I wish anymore. I think that you will see more returns. And I think that if you see this play start to begin to impact football games, like they hope, I think you're going to see an uptick on returners getting drafted again. I think you're going to see an uptick on those shifty skill position guys staying on rosters because it got to the point where returners didn't hold roster spots anymore for the most part. Like it was, you just had one of your, your fifth receiver went back there and returned punts. So, you know what I mean? Like like Devin Hester had to play receiver because they didn't want to use him as just a kick returner. Right. Punt returner. Deshaun Jackson kind of a little bit too. Yeah. So you're, you might move back to, because now these plays are going to matter. You're forcing me to return this thing. Now this play matters. I can't just, it's not, it's not, it became ceremonial to a certain degree, man. You know what I mean? Get out there, kick this thing out of the back of the end zone, ball at the 25, let's play some football. So I'm hoping that it's not as clean as they want it to be this season. And next season they move that thing up to the 40, man. It'll be a yeah, game changer. I, I, I'm with you on that part, but I like the idea because it's just more football. Like, Usually when it's kickoff and I'm at the games, I'm like, all right, it's kickoff. Like, yay, you know, the, this ball's going through the end zone. Like, why are we wasting 30 seconds of our time here? Um, I, I'm just curious to see teams do different things, not just the Detroit Lions, but um, I think, like I said, you could put out you, – I'm, I'm, you can't wedge anymore. I know the NFL banned wedges like they used to have on the opening kickoff. You just have a guy run down there and just bowling ball three or four people. I wonder but, is it still going to be banned, though, because you're only five yards away from each other. I would that's not anything – I didn't read anything about it, but well, do you remember the wedge breaker? His job was to just run at the wedge and dive at three people's knees and try to take them out. I can't imagine that's still in the rule, but um, like I said, you might see, you know, 
11 skill, skill skill position guys one kickoff and then the next time you might throw out some of the bigger boys like you, you can do a lot of different things you can switch it up keep the other team guessing I, i'm kind of excited to see it i can't wait yeah i'm excited to see it man i'm excited to see what teams do are they going to squib the ball because the ball just has to get to the landing zone it doesn't have to land in the landing zone so will we see squib kicks will we see uh sky kicks kicking a sky kick to the 10 yard line hoping that it doesn't bounce out of bounds you know what i mean and making that guy catch it and getting your guys geared up and ready to go when you see it land and just take off to the corner like trying to kick it into the corner where you got all the leverage on the guy to go get him rather than you know kicking it to the center of the field you know do we kick them low on the ground you know so once it gets bouncing around in that landing zone, your guys can take off. You don't got to wait for the guy to catch it. So you don't got to wait for it to be in the guy's hands. Like, I think there's going to be some strategic um, play going on with it, man. I'm excited to see what they do with it. Let me ask you this. You, you mentioned kicking it low. And I know that the kicker is behind everyone. Like it's yep. a kicker. If he kicks it low, he's got to kick it through two lines of defense. So if it hits someone, Let's say he hits someone on his own team. I, I, I don't know. I mean, you might not know the answer, but if you do, uh, great. But if it hits his own team, is it dead ball? Like we get it right where it landed? Like, how do you think that's going to work? I, I don't know. If you don't know, it's all right. But I just, so, just kind of popped so, in my head. So only thing that the, the rule said was this. Any kick that does not land in the landing zone is considered a kick that out of bounds and will be – the ball will be placed at the 40-yard line. Now, I would imagine – because the rule says that if it doesn't make it to the 20 yard line, the ball, it's outside of the landing zone. So it comes back to the 40. I would imagine it would make sense that if you don't make it to the 40, it would be where the ball is. But I don't know 100 percent sure we'd have to do okay. some more digging. Yeah. And I was also thinking, like, if I'm on that front line as a blocker and someone kicks a squib, do I field it if it's low enough and it's not inside the landing zone? I don't know. Lots of questions. So hopefully you have the some- option to field it. You have the option to field it, but uh, if they kick it to you and you catch it, you have the option to field it. All right, you also if, have the option to down it too. So if you down okay. it, you get it at the forty. But if it if bounces you, off me and the other team recovers it, it's not an onside kick. I get they the ball kicked it still? out of bounds. Yep, okay. it's out of bounds. It's an out of bound kick. Okay. If you don't kick it to the lane, I, well. I got a million million questions. It's million, gonna million be interesting, <laughs> man. It's gonna be interesting. But you think it's a good thing? I think that I think the idea is a good thing. I think that it still just needs a little bit of polish to it. A little, a little tweak, yeah. And like we said, it's a one-year thing, so maybe the NFL will look at this and realize that they have a thousand dumb rules, and this is just another one. Like you can't do cool celebrations anymore, which is disappointing because I would love to see a Monterey St. Brown put a cell phone underneath the goalpost like oh, Joe Horn did back in the day. Oh, just saying. Lord. But um, I got, go ahead. I got I got one more thing to it too. Penalties. Penalties does not change the where the guys are standing the guys will stand in the same spot so if there is a safety the kicker moves back to the 20 yard line but the guys still stand at the 40 and the 35 and the landing zone still the same landing zone still the same you know what i mean so um it's just a, it's gonna be interesting man it's gonna be interesting i would expect i don't if the detroit lions really want to be innovators but um I mean, there's, like I said, a thousand ways they could go way different, a whole list of scenarios. Yeah. I just think, you know, off the rip, you'll probably see Donovan Peoples-Jones and Khalif Raymond as the returners. I don't think we'll see anything fancy right off the rip, but I think once everyone kind of starts to get a feel for how this thing goes, maybe week two, week three, week four, you, you might start to see a, see a little trickery. That's just that's just my guess. But I, I think off the rip, you'll see uh, Khalif Raymond, Donovan Peoples-Jones, who are, um, you know, they have a lot of kickoff and, and punt return experience. So I think we'll just kind of probably be basic for a little bit, but you don't think they'll have Xavier worthy back there. <laughs> if he's, if he's the pick at 29, they better tackle him real quick because let's see if he's got to go 80 yards. That's telling me in about 8.42 seconds, he's going to score a touchdown. If my math is correct. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, we talked about this new rule. Um, Sometimes rules aren't fun, but we kind of tried to, you know, spice it up, get you guys thinking, hey, are the, these are some different sets, some different personnel, some different groupings you could see on these things. Who knows? Maybe we just keep it basic and we just do an old school return. I don't see Dan Campbell just saying, eh, I'm not going to use this to my advantage, but a lot of other coaches are too. So leave it in the comments. Uh, some of the things we were confused about, if you guys know the answers, leave it in the comments as well. Hit that like button. If you're new here, stick around, subscribe. We'll be back later with some more content. Peace. Hush.